happy Wednesday. It is about almost 8 o'clock. I just made myself some breakfast, so I'm going to eat my breakfast while I work. Being and my hus husband's still sleeping. But, um, I just thought I'd vlog today. Um, I'm trying to do more of these because I remember when I was, uh, we... Side note, I'd probably get a little more into this later, but um, long story short, my husband and I have a six month old, and pandemic or no pandemic, we were going to keep our kids home. Um, so we both work from home remotely, and I remember when we were planning to have kids with three, four years ago, um, just trying to figure out how we what we wanted our home life to look like I was scouring is that even a word child even know. I was researching and exhausting YouTube trying to find vlogs or videos or tips from other moms of how they work from home with their kids not just because the quarantine started but just in general people who have been doing it for a while people who work from home and homeschool their kids I know that may sound overzealous um, but that has always been our plan since we decided we wanted kids four or five years ago. Um, so, I know that I'm not the only mom who wanted to see if it's possible. We've been doing it for about six months, so not that long. But it's hard some days, but for the most part, it's pretty good. You just have to be, and I, you should be organized, but I am not, okay? I'm really not. I have an office that I don't work in. I work from bed sometimes. I work from the couch, like today. This week is a couch thing. It's a couch thing. Sometimes I work on my patio. My husband's very strategic. He works in his office all the time. I do not. Sometimes I work in the office. If I need my dual screens, other times, I'm. sometimes I'm in my car because I want to sit in my car. It's, it's crazy. I'll further explain later, but... I want to do more work from home vlogs to show anyone who's interested that it's possible. And it just looks different. And, you know, you're going to see there are a lot of, I've seen a lot of videos of moms who are, you know, very organized and is, um, they give very tips on how to stay focused and how to separate your work and your um, daily life. And, and I should probably link some of those down below too because they were helpful. But at the same time, I think you have to take into consideration what your personality is. And I'm not a, I am a work all day long in my pajamas kind of girl. And still get the same amount of work done. You know, depending on the day. Some days I'm feeling really, really productive Try I get up and work out. And make a big breakfast and go to sit in my office all day. And I need that for that day. And other days... My bonnet stays on, and I'm in. I change my clothes, but it's still pajama clothes, and I sit on the couch. And then there are other days that my husband brings me my computer, okay? And I work for a couple hours before I even get up to go use the bathroom and brush my teeth, and he brings me breakfast in bed. It just depends on the mood. So I decided to stop trying to force it and always force, force myself to get up and get dressed and go to my office and... Just go with my mood for the day. And it's working. So hopefully this will be helpful. Um, if you're interested in work from home vlog, this is what this is going to be. Um, I'm going to eat my breakfast now.
Oh, my baby. Beans up, y'all. It's almost 10 o'clock, so a couple hours have passed. I'm actually sitting on the floor right now. And I wanted to show you guys my new glasses. Come on, buddy. And my new glasses. Wait, anyway, ain't my glasses supposed to be purple? Oh, no. These are right color. I didn't get the purple one. Beautiful. Hey. Hey. Oh, white. I heat myself up some lunch. I made spaghetti for dinner a couple nights ago. And uh, I am just going to heat me some spaghetti up for lunch. Cause I need to, I need to eat this soon and not wait. Okay, sorry. You gotta heat the pot. I eat my pot, heat my pasta up by putting some water in them first and heat that up for like 30 minutes, 30 seconds, 30, 40 a minute. And then I come back with my pasta sauce. And then I, Kind of like mix that in and then heat it up for another. We got a wet cloth. And put the wet cloth over the bowl. So as it's dry, as it as it's heating up, it can soak the moisture out of the out of the bowl. And if you're looking for bowls and plates or not, Dollar Tree. Okay, very thick. I like thick bowls, very sturdy bowl, glass bowls. They have, that one's a clear bowl, but they have a blue one, black one, a red one. I'm gonna do the reheat setting. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I was only two minutes. Blue, black, and there's a red one. Okay, food is reheat. Let me try to eat this fast before. Bean wakes up. Okay, so we're back. Say hi, Beanie. Say hey. Hey, we are back. Um, I need to do a quick rehaul, grocery haul. Babe went to Costco. It's supposed to be a family thing, but mm, he was not. Either we teething, growth spurt. Or, you know, just having some moments this week. He's not here for being in the car for too long or out in public. We've tried to go to Costco three times as a family already. And it's not working. So, he went alone. General consensus, Costco is the best hands down. It's better hands down. But Sam's has a better snack selection. It has a variety of snacks in his opinion. So, I'm going to do a quick haul. And hopefully we can get through this. Because some of these things, I'm gonna start with the cold stuff and I might have to come back. So, this is the chicken we have here first. I got one ham, bear with me. It was $26. It's a six pack and it's already cut up in selection. I think you said it has like 10 pieces of chicken in each one. These are some of our favorite chips. I think it's pronounced oots. That's whatever, but the salt and vinegar. Hands down, favorite. Gotta keep my receipt, cause you know. Um, gotta scan your receipt, okay, for my fetch rewards. Got some vegetable oil here. Oh, let me get through these first. I keep trying to put things up as I'm going through, but let me just finish this. Then we have some black eyed peas. Some tomatoes, okra, and corn. I call it okra, tomatoes, and corn. But apparently it's tomato, okra, and corn. Black eyed peas again. They refuse to use that reusable grocery bag, but whatever. We got some sugar here. That's some laundry sanitizer. Okay, good for the clothes. I don't think that's new. I think we already had that. 
Uh, I don't think this is new. Pretty sure he, we already have that too. I can't tell. I didn't go with it. These are heart-shaped nuggets. I eat a lot of chicken nuggets, chicken fries in here. So this is that. I hope we got those. For, okay, be neat. <laughs> hope we got those on sale. And then what we have here? We have uh, my husband loves um, these flavored Mountain Dews. We have a, some runts. That's obviously for him because I hate those. And we have this a mac, mac and cheese. It's this big thing of paper towel. And he bought some. Um. What are these? Meal prep containers. But honestly, we just put our leftovers in there when we do cook. And so, that's our groceries. So, I'm going to, we're going to try and go back to Costco probably in a couple of weeks. So, I can see what it's like. And then I'll try to do a haul. This is a weird angle, but y'all, one hand. I'll try to do a, um, like a video when we go in. We have a lot of groceries because we've been eating out a lot. So we didn't really get much. I'm glad it's not crazy because sometimes we go crazy and we buy too much food and it goes bad and I got to give it away or throw it out or whatever. What do you think, Bean? Daddy did good? Yeah? Bean's going to be hungry soon. I know you might need a diaper change. Future Faith here. I didn't record anything else this day and I forgot about it. But I didn't do anything else after this point. We took a nap. We ate dinner and we went back to sleep pretty much. So I'm ending this vlog now. Thank you for sticking around to the end. If you did, appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video.